Dan Shugart and Jed Rogers coming to you on 
Coach Frank Sorrells, this is really where your season begins tonight. How do you think the game will be? Well, we, we expect a tough ball game. Escambia's coming off a big win last week, and they have some quality athletes. And uh, we expect a tough game coming over here and playing. Anytime we play a district game in our district, it's always uh, some good teams playing. Is this your best Niceville team ever? Well, I can't say that. I, I'd say we've done well the last couple of weeks. We started off a little slow, and uh, but I'd say we're, we're developing into a good ball club. And at the end of the season, maybe I can answer that question. How about your players? You have some, some outstanding players, starting with your quarterback, Kenny Felder. Well, Kenny's done a good job for us, along with some of the other kids that we started as 10th graders. And uh, he's developed into a good quarterback and uh, do a good job and has done real well. Uh, developing and learning the offense and, and things like that. So, you know, he has some experience and he's leading our offense right now. How big is this game tonight? Do you have to win it or if you lose it, can you still win the district? Well, it, whenever we lose a ball game, we've never won the district. We, we have had uh, three years we've lost one game by one point and, and never got to represent the district. So any game we lose, it seems like uh, we're in trouble. So it's, it's the biggest game of the year. Do you think winning this district almost automatically puts you in the state championship because it is one of the toughest districts in the state? No, no, th this game will not, uh, the only thing you can do by losing is lose out. Uh, it certainly won't put you in because you still have to play the other folks. And uh, as we found out last year, we won this game, but we lost to Pensacola and ended up in the tie and got edged out. So it's important and you have to just take one game at a time. Is it important for you to score first this game? Well, it could be. I think uh, anytime the team at, in a big game, a district game, scores first, it does put a little pressure on the team that, that, that's trying to come back. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.
mess around with me, you're a heartbreaker. Tonight, the Pensacola High Fighting Tigers and the Niceville Golden Eagles. Coach Sorrells against Escambia was the biggest game of the season. Now you're back to the same square. You got the Tigers, and this could be for all the marbles. Well, it could be. It's, it gets bigger every week, and this is definitely uh, the biggest game that's on our mind right now. And all game, they got an excellent team, and we've got a good team, and uh, we've got to go out there and just try to prove that we're the best. And, See what happens. Are you healthy coming into tonight? Reasonably so. We have some people that's banged up coming off the injury that couldn't play last week, but I think they can play this week, and uh, we're reasonably healthy. You got a, a big game last week that you were, uh, two weeks ago rather, when we saw you against Escambia. Um, how do you feel coming into this game uh, with that success? Well, it's good. You know, we uh, have confidence in our defense and our offense, and uh, we just realize we've got to play hard and not make the mistakes. I think in a big game, you know, a couple of errors here that can turn the tide. And uh, we got to battle them in there and not make a turnover and uh, try to execute well and not give up the big play and hope for the best. You've only been behind in one game, and that was against Choctaw, a game which you lost your only blemish on the year. Is scoring first uh, a goal for you guys? Well, it certainly could be a big factor in the game. I think a lot of times in a big game when a team does score first, it puts a little pressure on the other team. And, and hopefully we can't let that upset us. We've talked about that, and uh, we've got to realize we've got to play hard regardless of the score, particularly each half. So uh, it'd be nice to get out in front, but if we don't, we, got to, we can't panic. We've got to play our game. Good luck. Thanks a lot. When the going gets tough, the tough get going, 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 going.
was nearly a perfect half of football. You've got to be happy. Well, the kids have played hard. We got another half to go, but they played real hard, and we got out of the hole a couple of times, and we held them. Uh, they got a good team, they can explode, so we got to play a second half just like the first. What are you going to stress at halftime? Another 30 minutes? Not letting up one bit. We got to keep pressing and keep pressing all the time, not make mistakes. Good luck. Thank you. When the going gets tough, to tough, get going, 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 going.
73 and they've done it impressively beating Pensacola High 41 to 14 and coach uh, could you have imagined that you'd turn in this kind of performance tonight against a quality team no uh, I'm just just so happy I got the greatest bunch of coaches and players in the, in the world I mean you don't realize how hard they play and, they, and anybody that ever deserved anything they do and I'm just so happy for them and I never d dreamed that we would you know win by that margin but our but our guys just refused to uh, to quit and they play their hearts out and I'm just so happy for them and our coaches are so great. It's just a privilege to be associated with them. Previous nine years as head coach here at Niceville, you've come close so many times. What was your feeling? What were you thinking on the sideline as it was clicking down and after they had made the announcement that Escambia had beaten Milton? Well, you know, I still still a little bit of disbelief. I, we've had so much frustration and we've tied and we've never got the uh, over the hump, but these guys were so hurt last year by that loss. I mean, they knew they were the best team or they felt they were and and they got better each week, and it was a shame we couldn't go on and play in the playoff. But this year they were not to be denied, and they have played their hearts out, and I'm so proud of them. Coach Sarles, uh, it really makes me feel good to hear you, a head coach, compliment your players and your assistant coaches the way you do, but that's the kind of gentleman you are. And uh, from my dealings with you and, and uh, all of the things that I have seen in you, I would imagine that all those people feel exactly the same way about you because you're outstanding gentlemen. Well, I appreciate those compliments, and uh, but I, I really tr truly believe that, you know, I, I know the coaches do most of the coaching, and, uh, and my job is just to try to keep everybody together, to organize everything and let them work and stay out of the way as much as I can, call a few plays every now and then, but uh, they do a lot of work, and I tell you, they deserve all the credit and I'm just just happy and privileged to be a part of it in our community support has grown over the years I think Niceville support is as good as any support community around and I'm real proud for our city and our uh, our, our area and our school I think it, they, if anybody ever deserved it they do I'm, I'm telling you I know I'm part of it but they deserve everything that happened and I'm so proud well, we're not going to throw any cold water on the celebration because you've already had that, but but you do have to think ahead now because uh, you've got three more games in the regular season, and, and you've been injured all year. How's that situation look? Well, we have to go back and look. We've got some folks banged up. Uh, Kenny's got a thigh bruise, and uh, a couple other guys got ankles and so forth, but I don't think it's anything serious. I hope not. And uh, we've got to regroup next week and play another ball game, play out our season, but nationally prepare for the playoffs now, and, and that's that's a great luxury when you can – can prepare for that ahead of time and, and I'm looking forward to it but we've still got some games to play and we'll, we'll look at our injuries and uh, and use our head on what we do. Congratulations good luck the rest of the way. Thanks a lot I really appreciate it. Frank Sorrell, Frank Sorrell head coach of the number one and now district champion Niceville Golden Eagles and they uh, certainly earned that honor once again tonight. Final score was 41 to 14 as Jet. <laughs>
And before we get started talking about it, let's tell everybody what time it is, because there is a different time. It'll be 7 o'clock our time, 8 o'clock Tallahassee time. Well, we did it before. Can we do it again? Well, we certainly hope so. We realize this time around is going to be a little bit different. Leon's going to be expecting us. So they're going to be out for revenge and all that type thing and playing at their place. And uh, it's going to be a little tougher. And uh, But we feel like our players have played hard all year, and we've met the challenges. And, we should be mature enough to understand what, what we have to face, and hopefully we'll be ready to go. Last time we held them to six points, and you controlled Mickens. The team did very well. Uh, will that be part of the strategy this time, I'm sure? Certainly, uh, Mickens and Randolph, the running back, are two outstanding players, and there's no question they're as good as anybody around. We have to control them. They're, they're the key to the whole uh, offense, along with the quarterback, does a good job, and some other people that are not bad, but those are certainly two of the outstanding players, and those the two we have to focus on the most. Hold them to six points sounds real good from where I'm standing right now, so if we can do that or hold them down, that's what we got to do to win the game. Coach, we've had nine and one seasons before, but this year, not only did we win the district, uh, but we also set some high school records, Niceville high school records, a scoring record, that I believe uh, has topped anything that we've ever had, and plus a defense record uh, allowing about 6.4 or so uh, touchdowns or points against us uh, throughout the whole season, and then possibly that 16 scoreless quarters was also another record for Niceville High School. Yeah, I'm real proud of our, <clears throat> our players, particularly uh, our defense. We've had some good offensive teams before, but we've had a couple of defensive teams in our last two uh, years on defense. We've done an outstanding job. Our coaches and players have a great job and we don't really go for records as far as that goes like if you if you do what you're supposed to they kind of fall in place and we did have those records this year we're in our i'm happy for our players to to accomplish that and it's really uh sets a standard for us in the future coming down there with you and uh fish radio will be broadcasting the game live and of course you'll be able to see the game play by play right here on warner cable coach Charles, we wish you all the best luck in the world we hope you bring back a state championship to us i know you're going game by game and so are we but uh, everybody Everybody around here is saying state in 88 good luck well we appreciate it and we hope we're going to do the best we can our players realize this is our this is our shot and we can't blow it so we're going to go out there and give it
to go and uh, had a great game and got everything rolling and it went our way and we're real happy about that and now we've got one more week and to get things going and we're real excited about the opportunity to play at home again but uh, we're real concerned about the team we're playing and just hope we can give it our best game. Well now you can answer a question to me that you've been evading all year long saying well we only have the next game to go. How's it feel to be in the state championships? <laughs> Well, it feels real good. It's real rewarding for our assistant coaches and, and our players that work so hard to make this happen. And our community and school support and everything has been super. It's real, real rewarding to have that opportunity. And I just hope that, uh, you know, first we started out, we said, well, if we can ever get to the playoffs, that would be great. You know, but now that we're in the playoffs, we want to do as well as we can. We want to win, win the state championship, which is a, a dream come true for a lot of people. And we feel real good to be here. And we're real happy about it and really appreciate the support. And we want to... Uh, do our best this week and hope we can bring it home to Niceville. Be different that you might be uh, planning on doing this week? Well, not a whole lot. Uh, we're going to try to brush up on some things that we think will work against them, and we're going to have to be able to execute and, and uh, convert some things. Uh, we're going to have to throw the ball successfully in order to make our run go because they just don't give up the run much. And, uh, and our defense is going to be tested because they, they have a way of getting first downs all the way down the field and, and putting it in the end zone when they have an opportunity and they have a good kicking game. So we have to do a good job uh, uh, holding them off the board and then scoring or having a potential to score. Every opportunity we have, we have to take advantage of it because they don't make a lot of mistakes. Well, Coach, we want to thank you. Needless to say, from all the folks in Okaloosa County, congratulations on going this far, and uh, good luck in uh, Friday night's game. Well, thanks a lot, and I appreciate all the support from the community and everybody else. It's been real great to us, and, and I just hope we can end the season up with our best game ever, and I know that's what we're trying to do, and I uh, hope it'll turn out that way. Thank you, Coach. Why today, and why not? The biggest party of the year takes place tomorrow night right in their own living room. For the first time ever, the Eagles have a chance of bringing a state championship to the city. It's very rewarding for me, but I really get involved in really wanting it to, wanting to win for our players and coaches and the people that I know here that uh, support us for all these years. It's something that they would cherish, and certainly I would too. 
Now, if you follow Niceville during the regular season or even in the playoffs, I don't have to tell you they're used to scoring. However, in their opponents from Southeast, you'll find a bunch of guys who take pride in not giving up many points on defense. I think we're going to have to take uh, advantage of any opportunity that we have uh, because their defense doesn't make a lot of mistakes. And if we have the opportunity, we've got to cash in on it. Even with this being the case, the Eagles don't plan on initiating any big plays. They just plan on doing what they've perfected all along, showing their versatility. Well, our strength is we just have to try to control the ball and mix it up, passing and running like we've done all year, and try to get an early lead and have our defense play the sound defense like they've done, and our kicking game's been good. So just play a hard nose, a solid ball game like we've done most of the time. Field defense, they'll have their hands full because the Seminoles are big and can run. But we aren't telling Coach Soles anything new, so they should be ready. That's going to be a challenge. They're big in the line, a lot bigger than we are, as, as all teams have been, and they have some real fast backs, so we've got to contain them and not give them the big play, which is going to be... Your big disgrace, kicking 
Vineyard Chan all over the place singing We will, we will rock you We will, we will rock you But you're a young man, hard man shouting in the street You're gonna take on the world someday You got blood on your face, a big disgrace Waving your banner all over the place We will, we will rock you Sing it out We will, we will rock you Buddy, you're an old man, poor man Pleading with your eyes, gonna make you some beast someday You got mud on your face, big disgrace Somebody better put your bag into your place We will, we will Defensive back. Taylor Morton, defensive end. Jerry Thomas, plate kicker. Jeremy Wilson, defensive end. Dan Bartram, middle linebacker. John Reese, defensive end. Gunnar Tenner, outside linebacker. Paul Capitano, middle linebacker. Jeff Lowen, right guard. Danny Smith, center. Very size, offensive line. Tom Brechtel, guard. Bart Swan, guard. Kenny Jones, left guard. Angel Acevedo, running back. Richard McCann, receiver. Kenny Bell, the quarterback. Jesse Moore, receiver. Kevin Knox, receiver. John Wall, tight end, fullback, keeper. Adrian A.D. Rock Robinson, fullback, linebacker. A big disgrace, waving your banner all over the place. We will, we will rock you. Sing it out. We will, we will rock you. Buddy, you're an old man, poor man, pleading with your eyes, gonna make you some beast someday. You got mud on your face, big disgrace. Somebody better put your bag into your place. We will, we will rock you. Sing it. We will, we will rock you. Everybody, we will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. All right. <laughs> Mistakes. I've made a few. 
place to be tonight. The Eagles score 48 first half points and never look back thrashing Bradenton Southeast 48 to 14. And just like Pine Forest, they were busting loose tonight in Niceville country. And they'll get it started early. Kenny Felder will look to Adrian Thomas. Will he hit him? Yeah, right there. Thomas takes off and picks up good yardage. He says, hey, I want some of that pay dirt in the final game. He won't get in, but no problem. Keedra Malone, his buddy says, okay, you just get it started and I'll finish it. He'll sweep to the outside. Watch the quick move right here. He'll go in for the touchdown and they're looking good. Yeah, number one, that's what he's saying, and it is true. Now from here, Felder will give off to Malone one more time. Watch as he'll take it to the outside, and will anybody catch it? No, as he goes all the way down. Quick move, and oh, he almost does the job. But he will one play later. Watch it as they'll change sides, and oh, you can't keep this man out when he wants to score, as he'll do right there. Now Gary Thomas, watch the fake. Our main man, Cornell Tinder, will throw and hit Adrian Simmons for the two point conversion not Simmons but Adrian Robinson sorry Adrian we know your name Felder this time hands to Robinson again and what will he do he'll break it cut it back nicely and get into the open will he go all the way ah he's a big game but he doesn't score Felder to Malone again and he'll score he says okay you just get me close that's my department to score Bobby Bowden says hey I just love that kid I may bring him down my way but watch this he says okay if you bring him don't forget about me Robinson picks up a big game this time Felder again to Robinson this time he says hey Bobby Bowden you're looking at me. I want you to watch closely because I can score two. 38 to nothing at this point in the ball game. Then Braden Blair, he will look depressed. Uh, don't cry, man. We'll fix you some cup of soup or something like that when you get home tonight. Then is Sean Hennings. Watch as he'll come up with a big play for Niceville as he'll get the interception right there. He says we're headed back the other way. And fans, they love this guy. And whoa, wait a minute, the surfer. He wants a movie job. You better work a little harder. Felder scrambles this time. Watches he'll look to his main man, John Walls, eventually. Watches he'll pull it in right there for the big game. He says, thanks, Kenny. I wanted to be a part of all of this great stuff. Gary Thomas, this time after the bit of celebration, will get it going through the uprights, 48 to nothing at the half. And they go on to win. And Frank Sorrell sees glad to have that first championship in Niceville. I knew our players were going to play as hard as they could play. And uh, we talked about coming out. We felt like if we came out and gave them everything we had, knock, tried to knock them, knock them around a little bit, we felt like if we could do that early, it would be a difference in the game, and our players did that. The special teams, two blocked punts, 
they came through for We you. thought we could block a punt, and uh, the, the way they've been blocking there is we thought we'd come from a certain area and block it, and we did, and just a great job. The offense, again, just in high gear, wasn't it? Right. We had to look, the first drive was kind of hard. We had to really struggle, but when we got that one in, it just seemed to get everything going. All right. Good enough. We need more. But you come a long way. What is Okay, that was good enough for me. How about it? Niceville, they win that. Two. 